Hello everyone, my name is Mina from Japan. Mina san, hajime mashite, watashi wa Mina desu. So today I want to show you guys my favorite confectionery. Japanese confectionery, they are called dagashi. So let me uh, translate what dagashi is. So dagashi are super reasonable confectioneries and even they can be you know bought by children, little children. In Japan, some children get pocket money from their parents and after they finish their mandatory schools, they hang out with their friends and go to dagashi shops and enjoy this kind of confectionaries. In the old times, there used to be a bunch of dagashi shops in Japan, but you know, dagashis are so cheap that it is very hard for most of those shops to maintain their businesses and many dagashi shops they operated uh, their businesses as you know dagashi shops when the bank left but today you can get dagashi confectionaries at supermarkets or convenience stores as well okay so let me show you this one this is one of my most favorite dagashi in japan it's it is named Amaika Palo. Ama means sweet and Ika means squid and Talo means a popular man's name. But it was popular in the past and Japanese men over 40 years old have Talo in their prefix or suffix or yeah, anywhere in their name. Alright, and this is uh, it tastes kimchi, you know, Korean pickled vegetable, as the name of it suggests. It's a little spicy, but as I said, it can be popular among children as well. So it's half so uh, it's half sweet and half spicy. Okay, so my ikar talo was made by a Japanese company called Kado, and well, to be honest with you. I don't think that Kado produces any other popular product. I think they depend on this confectionery uh, itself. But since when I was a child, uh, this you know confectionery has been very popular and never disappeared. So I suppose that it's very profitable. All right. So let me see what is the ingredients of it. So, right. First of all, surprisingly, it's very surprised to me. Well, unlike this part of the you know, name of the product, squid, it is mostly made of ground fish, pulled by wheat flowers, a little squid powder, kimchi paste, sugar, soy sauce, salvage, Oh, because, yeah, as I said, it is mostly made by white fears, but as you can see, it is orange or red, right? To express uh, the taste of it. So in order to color the sheet, so it's very thin anyway. In order to color, uh, there's are some you know, pigments, edible pigments are years. Okay. And as to the calories, there are 31 calories in it. So, as I said, this is very popular among children, but also popular among adults as well, because you know many adults in their childhood enjoyed this kind of uh, dagashi confectionaries, and even after they grow up, they become adults. They say that. Some dagashis really go together with alcohol, such as beer, and it's true. Let's see the inside of it, right? Okay. Right, beers. Inside of it is like beers. And, well, it smells very strong. But for me and the most people who are familiar with Japanese food, it smells very well. And you know, uh, sniffing out it, I become very hungry. 
because I'm sure that this can also go together with some uh, staples such as um, such as boiled rice or drought. Okay. Let me take the first bite. Okay, so now yeah, hold on the head. So don't be worried, even though it you know the title of it is squid, you know it's very squid is very chewy and they are sometimes hard for all the people or children to swallow but as to Amaika power itself it is soft enough for you to like bite completely bite uh, after three to five bites and swallow it safely and on this sheet you may see some red points and these are pieces of kimchi powder so don't be worried they are not bugs insects it is edible so i really like the sauce which airs on the top of the seed so this fish seed is uh, surrounded and covered with sweet and spicy sauce this is the secret of our uh, this confectionery It's very yummy, anyway. Mm -hmm. And I have it. And after you eat, and after you finish the sheet, the sheet of the fish, you can see the sauce, the leftover, the sauce, delicious sauce inside of the package. But for me, I want to, you know, I want to enjoy the last left leftover and well, my recommendation is to open the package okay oh oh my god so open the package and all right you can see there you can see a lot of sauce right this is a secret of it uh, leak out everything well just as a disclaimer if you do it in front of your business partners it is very weird so don't do that but um, it doesn't matter if you do it in front of your family members or close friends so by the way it smells very strong for some people you know who are not familiar with like kimchi or Japanese food and this smell also attracts flies as well so before you um, me personally before I throw it away I I try to wash the pack airs and remove source from it uh, to avoid infection all right my hands are very sticky now okay so by the way so anyway thank you for watching this video and stay safe and see you guys in the next one bye bye